Dyers have an innate ability to move through trees, staying above their victims who walk beneath them, unaware. <sighs> Geyers are the most vile of all. They harvest human organs while the victims are still alive, seeming to take pleasure in the savage pain they cause. Carnage on the front lines has provided them with a seemingly endless supply of viscera for their terrible trade. Hey, what are you doing for dinner? Uh, there was a heart, kidney, liver, gallbladders, and a lot of blood being transported when he got hit. Driver had a fake ID. We can't identify him. The only thing I know is he was a guyer. Saw him right before he died. What's my favorite color? What? You know, you never ask me about anything else, like sports or music or who the hottest Bond babe was, you know, like normal conversation. Just saying, it'd be nice to switch it up once in a while, you know? Well, what's your favorite color? You don't mean that. No, really, I want to know. Red. Well, I feel so much closer to you now. Fine. Yeah. If there are organs involved, then most likely it was a Geyer deal. What do you mean, deal? Geyers are like herbalists, you know? Eastern medicine types. You know how some humans use exotic animal parts like bear gallbladders and rhino horns for like, you know, medicinal remedies and, and aphrodisiacs and stuff, which is ridiculous because it has no effect whatsoever. Here's the thing. Human parts for creature enhancement? That actually works great. You're serious? Oh, yeah. Our exotic animals are you. Well, you're telling me that Geyer's deal in human organs? Well, okay. This might be a little awkward, but... For example, you probably didn't know that your testicles, I mean, not your testicles specifically, but that part of the human male anatomy has a kind of a Viagra-like effect on certain species. Not that I ever had need to. I mean, everything works great. Oh, no. That wasn't awkward at all. OK, so where would someone like you Get something like that. Um, there's a place that I've I've heard of. Not that I've ever you know been there. Right. Can I help you? Uh, yeah. I'm here for the, um, catch of the day. Got some ID? <laughs> Haven't had a blue button here in a long time. <laughs> Haven't seen a Fuchs bow in a Vosh bar's age myself. What are you looking for? Um, maybe a little Golan blaze. It's fresh, isn't it? Golem Blaze doesn't stay on the shelf long enough to get old. Three ounce for the six ounce. Oh, oh, that's really for a friend, so, I don't know, um, six ounce? I'll be right out. You want a gift wrap? No, thanks. If you're partial to mixing, I find the gallbladder flavor goes very well with a white tea. Just the powder, thanks. That'll be $300. Are you kidding me? You must not have bought some in a while. Price has been going through the roof. Thanks. You're not gonna say that when you hear the price. Three hundred dollars. Are you kidding me? That's exactly what I said. And you know, you just didn't pay three hundred dollars for oregano. I don't know. Put in some white tea and find out. I think I'll go with the crime lab. Chicken. By the way, he's a Fuchs bow, so count your fingers after you shake hands. Right. Three hundred bucks. I'll owe you. We 
We've got a connection. This confirms that the DNA from some of the blood in the SUV matches the kid. Well, that would explain the holes in his neck. Somebody was taking his blood and settling it. But none of the organs in the SUV match Steven or one another. So we've got a lot of blood and a lot of human body parts from different people. Somebody's been harvesting human organs and not from a hospital. Check out this histology. No lesions, fat, cirrhosis, or pathology of any kind. Young and healthy, perfect specimens, red market. They pulled Stephen off the street. Maybe that's where they're getting their victims. Homeless kids are runaways, nobody'd miss them. Then we need to run a check, see if there are any missing street kids. But there may not be any missing reports filed. Now let's expand our search to out of state. Now, Burkhart. I got the report back on the contents of that bottle you wanted identified. I gotta tell you, it's a little bizarro. Pure human gallbladder, dried and ground. Nothing more, nothing less. Anything else you need to know? No, that's it. Thank you. You know what? I'm gonna go check the warrant on that driver's phone. All right. I am here for the catch of the day. Fuchs bow, right? Oh, my God. Let's talk about the Golan Blaze. Don't kill me. Who do you get your Golan Blaze from? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you do. Human gallbladder? I didn't do anything. You're selling human organs. I'm just a shop owner. I don't kill them myself. Oh, that's supposed to make you innocent? You're going to tell me everything you know. Mm -hmm. You guys will kill me. Maybe you shouldn't be in business with them, then. You can take your chances with them or with me. But right now, I'm here, and they're not. I don't know their names or where they are. One of them makes a delivery once a week. How do you get in contact with them? I text them when I need something. Write down the number. Same guy makes the delivery every week? He's the only one I ever saw. This the guy? Yes. When do you see him next? I was supposed to get a new shipment yesterday, but he never showed. Well, that's because he's dead. Oh, God. You killed him? Show me the rest of your supply. sell human organs. <laughs>